Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if you had it on your 2023 bingo card that a Catholic nun would be tackling a rabid, whacked-out ecological activist, an environmentalist activist, into a pit on a construction site. But that has happened because that's the state of the world that we're in. But this is actually a good story because the nun and the religious sisters are getting the last laugh against these wacky weirdos in France who are trying to stop the building of a new religious site, a convent of sorts. And we're going to get to that video in just a second. But first, I'd like to thank our sponsors over at Queen of Victory Rosaries. You can see here on the screen, Queen of Victory Rosaries is an independent-owned and operated uh, Catholic store uh, by a lady who makes custom rosaries, various types of you know, uh, jewelry and, and keepsakes and souvenirs and those sorts of things. And you can find a link for that in the description to this video. You can see here uh, many types of different rosaries. There's one here for the U.S. Marine Corps, if that's your thing, U.S. Army, uh, carpenters. Um, there's different themed rosaries, for example, all, uh, all Souls Rosary. I do have one of these rosaries, and I use it every night when I'm praying the rosary with my family. It's quite durable. You can also find 15 dec and ro decade rosaries if you're one of the three rosaries a day types, which is, uh, God bless you if you are, rosary keychains, tea diffusers if tea's your thing, military first responders, stations of the cross, uh, chaplets, uh, seven sorrows chaplets, and more, even St. Michael's chaplets. Um, also, if you want anything custom, you can just click the, link, click the link in the description and send an email over to Queen of Victory Rosaries through her website, and you'll find how to contact her there. And um, they're uh, able to fix anything if it breaks because of regular wear and tear. So all around, good deal. Okay, thank you to Queen of Victory Rosaries for that. Now, let's get to the story. So in France, there was a group of crazy, whacked out, weirdo, ecological terrorist types who were trying to stop the building of a uh, new convent with some very dubious means. And we're going to see a quick video of that here. So this is, um, there's the article, we'll kind of, we'll translate some of this after uh, as we go, but it was put on Twitter, and I actually tweeted, uh, based Catholic nun tackles environmentalists trying to stop the construction of a new convent. And here's what happened. That's the one. Ah! <laughs> Now, I used to coach rugby. I used to coach football. I've coached a lot of both sports, been very successful in both. And there's a drill that you do in both those sports, and it's called the pursuit drill. Maybe it's different names in different countries. Essentially, you want to take the right angle on the runner. So, for example, if you're playing strong safety in football, uh, where the runner is going up the sideline, you don't run to where he is, you run to where you expect him to be. you got to use your judgment there in order to make the tackle. And the most important thing is that you take the right angle on the person uh, so that you don't get too far ahead of them so that they can cut back, and at the same time you don't go too far behind that they get in front of you. It takes a lot of skill. It's especially necessary for things like special teams, and in rugby if you're playing fullback, which is completely different than football, uh, fullback in football, but if you're at the back line there or your backside wing, you've got to worry about these things all the time. Anyway... I don't know what this nun's sporting background is. If she is in France, rugby's pretty popular there. Maybe she played at her girls' school growing up or something. But in any case, uh, this is a textbook pursuit drill tackle. And we're just going to watch this again because it's so amazing what she did here. So watch here as sister so-and-so uh, sees this guy coming from a mile away and just takes him right out with a perfect tackle. <laughs> Now, I don't know what those uh, tubes are. The environmentalists are carrying them. Maybe they use them to scream at people and make it louder or something. I don't know. But we're going to look real quickly here at the article that was written about this after we watch this one more time because this was just so... <laughs> this is the world we're in where ecological weirdos uh, who need to get a day job are trying to attack Catholic nuns so they don't build a convent. Did you see how stunned he was? <laughs> he just gets up out of the, the pit and he's like, did I just get tackled by a nun? Yes, you did get tackled by a nun. And you're lucky that's all she did because you're insane. Uh, and that was right and just. So here's the article 
Uh, it's from a, a news source wherever the region is in France. I'll bring that up here. And um, so it says, Des religieuses se mobilisent pour la, uh, la reprise de chant, uh, chanter de centre religieux de Saint-Pierre de Colombier. So uh, religious sisters mobilize for the rebuild, re restarting of this building. So apparently since 2018, this has actually been taking place and these ecological activists have been trying to stop it. And apparently the logic is, is that there's some sort of biodiversity thing present there. You know how these ecological weirdos work. First of all, they're insane. Second of all, it's probably not the only place in France where this is anyway. And it says, des huit heures des, uh, des échanges violents. So around eight o'clock, we have violent exchanges. Uh, it says, la manifesta uh, manifestation a, a débuté tôt ce matin. So it started early this morning. Impossible pour les militants uh, de pénétrer l'enceinte du site fortifié des barrières, elle-même gardée par des religieuses arrivées dans la nuit. So, uh, if you don't speak French, what they're saying here is, they actually had to start protecting the place, and it says, arrivé dans la nuit. So they actually started protecting it during the night. The nuns made sort of a barrier around it. Um, because, I don't know, these people have been trying to kibosh this for years. It says, des huit heures, militants écologistes et religieuses en sont venus aux mains. So, by 8 o'clock, they were t exchanging blows, essentially, or getting getting into it. Ces altercations violentes ont duré près d'une heure. So there was a, an hour of scuffles. I think the journalist is kind of being funny here, if you understand his tone in French. But listen to how crazy this uh, environmentalist person is here. He says, Je, uh, je ne m'entendais pas à ça. I don't really know what happened. He's basically is what he's saying. Co-president of some environmentalist thing. Je m'attendais à ce que les religieuses soient un peu raisonnables pour l'ordre public. I thought the nuns would be a little bit more reasonable for the public order. Yes, how dare the nuns protect their site from weirdos trying to come in and destroy construction sites? How dare they be so unreasonable? He says, Moi, j'étais pris à partie trois fois par cinq personnes. Uh, I was assaulted. I was attacked. I was grabbed. Uh, three times by five persons. Uh, no, my friend. You were kicked out of somewhere because you're an idiot and you're a crazy person who tries to break into public property. Or private property. Uh, là, ils ont décidé de protéger le chanter par leurs actes uh, et leur corps. So basically, the nuns are willing to protect it with their bodies and with their actions. So this is what the nuns and the supporters of the nuns are doing. They're actually singing in sort of a, a singing prayer chain. Check this out. And it goes on to say in the article that the reason they're doing that is because they have to stand around basically making a human chain so that the crazy environmentalist weirdos don't attack the place and stop them from digging. And uh, it goes on to say, essentially, les manifestations s'enchantent depuis quatre ans. It's been going on for about four years, these protests. And uh, anyway, so, uh, you know, check out the article if you'd like, if you read French. You can probably translate it. The translation was a bit awkward, which is why I wanted to do it kind of live to make sure it was uh, read properly. Anyway, I don't know if, again, you had it on your 2023 bingo card, but Catholic nuns are doing textbook pursuit drills and tackling would-be infiltrators uh, of the environmentalist persuasion. So bravo. I think this is something that more nuns uh, and more priests should be doing uh, to get the modernists out of the church. What do you think? I'm half kidding. Probably not. As always, let me know what you think in the comments. Also, thank you to Queen of Victory Rosaries for sponsoring this video. This has been the Kennedy Report. Until next time, God bless.